Hello, good day everyone again. So this is just another short tutorial. So this time this is all about OneDrive or OneDrive for Business in our Office 365 accounts for DepEd employees. Or even not DepEd employees, if you have OneDrive for Business uh, included in your, I mean in your subscription. So this tutorial is also for you. So this is just an example of how OneDrive works. So we do have a problem right now in in the in this in these days or in these months that uh, our files are just in our laptop or in our devices in our desktops and then something bad happens like for example uh, the OS is, is not working or the drive gave up or maybe in your external hard drives or flash drives then it got lost and or some of the malicious attacks right now like for example uh, the, the most common right now is what we call the ransomware wherein the files are, are encrypted by those at cyber attackers and then it will lock your files and will ask you some bitcoins or amount of cash and would rec and if it's like hostaging your files with them now the problem there is there is no assurance that if you give them what they want, they will be giving the key any uh, key to decrypt your files, or they will not do it again to you. So the most safest way to do it is by backing up your files in an online storage facility. Now for Office 365 accounts, uh, OneDrive is there for us or is available to us. So. This is your Office 365 dashboard, the most common of the Office 365 dashboard uh, in, in DepEd Enterprise. So in the app launcher, here in this side here, you can, or in this uh, left side navigation bar here, you, or in the apps there, all apps, you can go to OneDrive. So just like this, if I click all apps there, there's OneDrive there, or just look for the OneDrive uh, icon in the left side, or in the app launcher there, you can also see OneDrive, so you can you can access OneDrive different ways, and whenever or whatever ways you want it to be accessed. So just click there OneDrive. So this is my OneDrive sample of my OneDrive. Uh, okay. So in the up, in the topmost uh, horizontal navigation bar here, you will see there new. You will see also here upload. So these are the two first that you are going to, or we will be giving uh, emphasis in this video tutorial. So in the new button, there's also a drop down uh, button there beside it, and you can create a new Word document, new Excel workbook, PowerPoint presentation, forms, links, or other others, or you can create new folder to organize your files, or you can also in beside the upload button there you have the drop down button also you can just upload files or folder so in my case i have already created this backup files folder so if i click backup files folder and then i have one laptop in asus x series and to back up another one so I, i'll just create new here new folder so new folder and i'll say this is for the hp uh, for another laptop for backup for my files say hp laptop and then opening it i'm going to put the date today so like 10 28 2020 so that i will know uh on what day was it backed up so i'll create and then just by clicking this folder here if i want to upload all files individually so i'll just click files but if i want to upload the whole folder in, in one folder or or how many folders there in my in my device i can just click the folder button here but uh for me to select the files i can just click files here load files then go to my documents if i wanted to if i wanted to upload these documents here so like that down to the last button so I'll click open and then OneDrive will be uploading those files in the cloud from your device to the to your OneDrive account. So just like that, so those files are now safely backed up in your OneDrive account in your Office 365. 
So this has this is also encouraged to our teachers and to our employees in DepEd to back up your files regularly, uh, at least once a week or at least every every other week, so that your files will be safe or whatever happens to your device. So for more videos about uh, syncing and downloading and other things or automating the the processes in your OneDrive, so please watch out for for other videos about it. But for this video, the most important thing is for you to know how to uh, create folders and upload files or upload folder. Just like for example, if I'll if I'll click this drop down button in this upload, then I'll select folder. If I select one whole folder there, like for example sound recordings, then I click upload. So the whole folder and it will ask me only do this if you trust the site and yes. So the whole folder there, sound recordings, will be uploaded and it's saying here uploading one item. And yeah, waiting for the folder to be, the whole folder to be uploaded. Let's take a peek. Okay, so it's uploading, it's uploading. Sound recordings are done. So actually the sound recordings, uh, the, the folder sound recordings, it's already done recording, but other items in the files folder or individual files have not been uh, uploaded yet. Mm -hmm. Uploading five items. Let's take a peek. Yeah. So the whole thing in the sound recordings folder is being uploaded. Done, 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 done. So that's it. So if I check the sound recording folder, yeah, the files are there. So basically, that's the basic uh, skill that you need to you need to know uh, about OneDrive for business in your Office 365 accounts. Thank you so much and good day.